if you want radical results, then you're going to have to make some radical changes. Like you don't turn a car, right? A sharp left turn um, by kind of easing that steering wheel around, right? You got, if it's a hard left, then it's a hard left for you to radically change direction immediately. So on day five here of Manifest Your Best Life in 88 Days, we're going to talk about what that really means, radical change. My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer, and I am the CEO and founder of Heart of Inspiration, of Lightworker Academy, and of InSource Strategic Implementation. And all of those uh, companies and all of those endeavors, we all are working towards one main goal, and that goal is to help lightworkers prosper in their purpose. Now, We'll talk about what a light worker is another time. But basically, if you want to change other people's lives, if you want to make an impact in the world, then we're here to help you do that. And one of the ways we do that is from information just like this. So I'm so glad you joined me on this journey of 88 days to manifest your best life or manifest your best life in 88 days, whichever way. And today we're going to take some radical change. We are going to radically change right? How we operate in this world. We're going to radically change how we look at ourselves and then how we choose to interact with the rest of the world, aka with the simulation. Also, we're going to radically change how we view our higher self. So that's a lot that we're going to accomplish in a very short time. Now, if you've been with me already um, for the last few days, we've done a few things. We have um, went ahead and wrote down and created these visualizations. And I talked to you day one about, you know, what to say and how to to utilize um, affirmations or manifestations in a different way than we've ever done before. So hopefully you can go back and watch day one or rewatch it. And then um, day two, we talked about limiting beliefs. Day three, we talked about the simulation. And day four, we talked about the mirror effect. So now we're going to put those things together. And we're going to keep doing this over and over again during the 88 days, only it's going to get a little bit more refined each day. And now we're going to take all of that. We're going to begin to make a radical change. And what do I mean by a radical change? I mean this. So if you have been told all of your life that because of your gender or the color of your skin or whomever you are, maybe you were not born into a rich family. I'm just going to guess. I probably don't have, you know, people that were like um, Elon Musk's uh, progeny here watching me. Maybe I do. And if I do, hi. Um, But if not, you know, I'm guessing, right. I'm uh, probably, I don't have, you know, Bill Gates's children watching and I, and I I probably, I just probably don't have that. And that's totally okay. So maybe you've been told because you were born on the other side of the track, so to speak, that there is no way that you're going to ever achieve the goal and the, and, and the prosperity that you desire for your life, the abundance. Maybe you've been seen, you've seen and been told that this whole, like having a life partner that actually really cares about you and is really, you know, motivated to like, um, be supportive and that you could be supportive of them. And they're, you know, it's amazing. Maybe you've been told that that's just a fairy tale, honey. And that only happens in Disney movies and lately not that well. So, you know, like maybe, and so you don't think that that's possible. I don't know what it is that you've been told that you don't believe that you can achieve. Maybe you're looking around at the economy and you're saying, she's full of crap. There is no way that I'm going to be able to start and grow a business. There's no way that I'm going to be able to attain economic stability, financial stability for myself and leave a legacy for my family. That's all. Those are all lies. Okay. So I need you to understand, first of all, that those are all lies. And so the first radical change is that. Okay. That's the first radical change. The second way that we make radical change is that we then decide abruptly, like today, not tomorrow, not the next week, not the following week, but today, we decide that we're no longer living by those rules and that we are deciding to create our own rules. Oh my God, isn't that amazing? Like we're deciding we're going to create our own rules.
That's what we're deciding today. So can you make that decision? Can you say it out loud? I am creating my own rules to live by today. I am creating my own rules to live by today. Now, I'm not saying you're going to go out and hurt anybody or do anything cuckoo and crazy like that. But what I am saying you're going to do, okay, beloved, is I am saying that you are no longer going to play by the rules of the matrix and the simulation. That now you're deciding, you're making the radical change to decide to live according to the rules that you're setting down. And what are those rules? That you're whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous. Nothing missing, nothing broken. That you're living in ease, that you're living in joy, that you're living in prosperity, that you're living in abundance, that you're living in purpose, and that you are actively making an impact in the world. That's a radical difference from before. That you're choosing not to live in hate, that you're choosing not to just dislike somebody for external and unimportant reasons like their political leaning, like their religion, like their their the color of their skin, like their gender, like where they are from as far as a country, like all of those things that doesn't those are that doesn't matter. Those are the true social constructs if you want to be real. The true social constructs is that there's some innate difference in us that separates us just because of the color of our skin or our culture, where we come from, or our race or ethnicity, right? That's the real, or because we believe one set of, you know, primarily one set of rules or ways politically or than another. It doesn't matter. I don't care because I care about you as a core person. And when I identify with all those other external, non-important things, what happens is that then my vision becomes myopic and it becomes tunneled and I then take on the identity and the characteristics of a person that has these this listing of things. So what I'm asking you to do is make a radical change to change your identity from what it has been up until now, if it's not working for you, to what you wrote down. Who is that person? How does that person live? How does that person think? Does that person really, 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 at the end of the day, care about a lot of, does, it let, does that person let the news rule them? Does that person watch the news all the time to hear a lot of depressing crap? Does that person like listen to the propaganda from everywhere? Or does that person feed themselves, right? wonderful, beautiful information that is uplifting? Does that person feed themselves personal development information and read great books and meditate and write and create and and be this, this amazing individual? Does that person live in that world or does that person live in the world that you're living in right now? Again, this is just tough love, but if you want to make a radical change in your life, remember the mirror principle. I'm not going to see anything different in the mirror if I don't change the input of what's being put into that mirror. So if you don't like the mirror that is your life right now, then you need to change it from the inside out and create a new identity. All right. And that's what we're going to be talking about. Day six is your new identity. Okay, guys, love you to pieces, love your bunches, love you to wholeness, and never, ever, 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 ever forget to give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. Take care.